we would like to uh, invite everybody again tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's already five and I believe that is all the time that we have for today. So, um, give me a second. Ah, okay, so this is uh, already on the screen. Bala. So, uh, next slide. Uh, so, join us again tomorrow. So, tomorrow, uh, you will be joined by Alvin Mejia from Bupertal Institute. You heard him also earlier pre uh, presenting the policy tools for local authorities. No? So, tomorrow, he will guide you through the session as your moderator. And um, once again, I'm Kathleen. And uh, on behalf of Solutions Plus, I'm very pleased to meet you all and interact with you today. And thank you all again uh, to our, speak our contributors and speakers, Dr. Horizon, Alvin, uh, Bert, uh, I believe had already left. Um, but thank you so much. And uh, we also have in the session, uh, Pasi Transport Office. They're also joining us um, throughout the session. So um, yes, yeah, so this is the one that we are um, anticipating uh, to join us tomorrow. So. Tomorrow, it's going to be about the EV charging. Uh, we will hear from Dr. Manny Biona um, to talk about the charging types and standards and the Philippine setting. We'll have Vittorio Ravello for the technical prerequisites demand and the considerations for EV charging. Uh, we'll also have Ms. Dang Tirante from Get Philippines um, to uh, brief us on the how do we ensure safe charging and um, a bit of um, uh, experience from the case study you know, from the Philippines. We'll also have Dr. Ture from uh, National Chiang Kong University. Uh, and yung experience nila on the charging infrastructure development uh, and deployment rather. Uh, we'll also have Dr. Nuong um, for yung, uh, and yung case study naman sa Thailand and what and yung mga role ng government to on in uh, developing or setting up the EV charging. And so that will be moderated by Alvin. So with that, um, thank you again for joining us today and good evening and see you tomorrow.